Hello everybody, I am back with another plan with me video. I'm trying to crank this sucker out because this is the last one I have to pre-film before I leave for my spring break. Um, so this is the week of April 23rd through the 29th um, and I'm using this really cute mini kit from Lily and Miko Designs. I believe it's called Coachella based on this box. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't have a name printed on it. Um, so it comes with full boxes, uh, this page with some icons, weekend banner, uh, deco, and then lots and lots of checklists and some flags. Got washi strips for the bottom, some sidebar stuff, lots of other flags, and some work labels, and then this sheet of uh, habit trackers, build use, and then lots of different types of boxes. Um, so I do have a couple of other things that I've pulled as well to use with this, but I'm just going to start with the kit first, and then I will show you guys the stuff that I'm adding into the kit as I get there. Um, so yeah, oh gosh, I totally just realized I did not pull my dirty planner. So I'm just going to put down my washi first, and then I will grab that, um, Actually, no, I think I do want the narrow strip of blue glitter on top. So let's put that down first. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs> I've never used a kit from Lily and Miko before. Um, I have had like a mini kit from them before, but it was very different. I think it was designed for a personal planner. Whereas this is definitely designed for the Erin Condren. So I could never quite figure out how to use the one for the personal planner. So I think I still have it like sitting in one of my binders actually. I should probably look at that and see if I still have it and see if I can like pull some stuff from it. I wonder, do I still have it or did I get rid of it? Oh, nope, I still have it. So I don't know if there's anything in it I can use, but I'm going to pull it out and have it on hand just in case. i go ahead and grab my dirty planner as well while I'm doing that, since I forgot to do that before I got started with this video. It has just been one of those days, man. Ooh. It's been one of those days. I am uh, very, very tired. <laughs> It's Wednesday, um, but because it is the week before Easter, yes, I'm filming insanely early, um, because it's the week before Easter, we only have four days of work and school this week rather than a full five-day week, um, and the kids are just getting real antsy and crazy, and so yeah. It's been an interesting week. Um, the good news is my kids have a project due tomorrow, so it's a pretty low stress week for me personally. Uh, the bad news is they are still a little cuckoo bananas. Okay, um, so this is the mini kit that I got, and I think I might actually be able to pull that quote box. I think that's actually going to work really well. Okay, because I don't like the Coachella box right here. I'm not a fan of that one. But I am going to pull some stuff out of this kit where I can, just because I don't foresee myself ever actually using that kit. Um, it's cute. It's just not really my style, and it's also not made for my planner. But I can totally pull... Uh oh Sorry about that. I can totally pull stuff from it. Um that's useful and fun and functional for this particular spread. So we are now to the point where I have to decide what I'm going to do. I think, no, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? Ah, I need to pull some headers in. Um, so I have these really nice rose gold foil headers from Ben's Design Company. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is rose gold foil. Um, this is one he gave me a really long time ago. They are not 
first quality. This is not something he would have sold in his shop. Like there are some issues with a couple of the headers. Um, but a lot of times when he has issues, he kind of sets them to the side and he will often gift them to people who use his kits and stuff, particularly his PR girls. Um, just to kind of get some feedback on the idea at least. Um, so I have a few pages like that from him. Um, so yeah, let me get these in here for my weekly habits. And then I think I might pull the purple one from the personal planner kit it looks like it's the same width as the Erin Condren one and that way I kind of have everything that I would normally have okay perfect so I apologize if there's like a lot of flipping through stuff I have pulled a lot of extra stuff to go with this simply because I it's a mini kit and so there's a lot of stuff that I would typically use that is not here um, so let's see uh, for example I don't have like a label to go on top of my weekly ombre so we're just gonna wing it and kind of see what happens um you know you do what you gotta do i am going to put oh that like didn't get cut at all <laughs> there's like one random headers worth of foil here that like didn't get cut that's fun again these are not first quality if you buy any type of foil from ben it will not be weird like that um that is just, you know, because it is something he gave me for free. So he would never actually send it out like that. <laughs> if it was being purchased. Okay. Um, so then just have a little to-do list box. And then I'm just going to fill in some space with, space with some more foil header, I think. I did pull some glitter headers as well, but I'm kind of trying to save those for here because I have a very limited number. Because um, the glitter headers I have, for whatever reason, they only put seven of each on the page. So, which is not the end of the world, but it does make things a little hard when you're trying to kind of sort things out. Okay. Um, so let me look at, have I, <laughs> I think I literally used the same layout three weeks in a row, you guys. I did. Wow. Okay. It is time to get back to having fun. Um, cause I just four in a row of the same exact way of laying out the kits is just, uh, -uh not happening. Um, so what I am going to do the same across the whole week is the foil headers, um, or the headers in general. So I'm going to do the foil across the top the whole week. And this is one of the ones that has a flaw. I don't know if you guys can even see the flaw because it's so <laughs> shiny. Um, that one does have a flaw and I didn't realize it until I'd already stuck it down. Oh well, whatever. Do, do, do. So, I need to do my boxes and my flags for this. And I think I'm just going to do like random spreading out the boxes because I want to. I think it's fun. Um, so we'll do the girl down here and then I'm going to put a glitter header on top of her 
see. I think I'm going to do the pink that I'm using on top of this bottom row. Oh, that's really miscut. Wow. I never noticed how miscut these were. Eek. Okay. It'll be fine because the way they're miscut is going to kind of blend in. It'll be okay. Okay, so I've got her down. I think I'm going to put my flag for this, or my checklist flag for this day at the top. Cool. And then my other glitter header. Oh, I forgot about the blue. Does that blue work? Oh, that blue is too bleh. That blue is too bright. I kind of like it. I think I'm going to use it anyway. I was going to use the orange, but like, I think I can make this blue work. This is going to happen. Okay. Cool. I like that. All right. So Tuesday, I really want my box to be up top simply because Tuesday is meeting day. So I want to make sure I have that up top, ready to go. And we'll do another blue. Um, and I'm going to put my flag down at the bottom. You know that means I have two days in a row of um, little things in the center. That's what I want to do. Uh, the glitter headers, by the way, the pink one is from Birds Fly Studio. Um, I don't normally have a problem with her stuff being miscut. I think I just got one bad sheet and just didn't notice it. Um, but normally her stuff is cut really well. I just had bad luck this time, I guess. Um, so that's from Birds Fly Studio. And then this one is from Sweet Tea Sticker Co. Just because, you know, I need to be saying these things as I'm putting things in. All right, and then Wednesday. And just got another blue. And then I'm gonna put in a box. Sorry, I'm having to like look and see like what is on what day to make sure I'm not putting things that I don't wanna cover up in places where I might have to cover them up. Actually, I'm going to lift the bottom of that just slightly and put down the glitter header and then layer that on top of the glitter header. And since these glitter headers are slightly miscut, um, just that way there's not like a random white line showing. There we go. Because it really does hide the miscut very well. All right, so moving on to this side. Once again, I'm just going to do the rose gold foil across the top. And then blue in the middle and pink on the bottom as I get there. This is kind of fun, like all the random things I can pull to put in. Okay, so I'm going to do on top for Thursday. Um, I might 
be working District Musical on Thursday night. I'm not 100% positive yet. Um, so I will have to look into that. I know I do have to work District Musical one night during this week. I just don't know which one. Uh, but I do need to get that information because, like, that's kind of important. Because um, I've got to get, or I've got to arrange for kids to come work with me. And I know somebody's going to be like, child labor laws. But, like, the kids literally work for, like, ten minutes and they get to see the musical for free. So it's not like we're, you know giving them insanely hard jobs. They're literally passing out programs and checking tickets and that's it. So don't need anybody go complaining about, you know, child labor. Because it's really not that hard. I promise. I wouldn't ask them to do it if it was hard. Okay. Uh, problem with doing this this way is getting everything like lined up right. Oh my goodness. Really? Come up. There we go. Oh wait, I need to put the box down first. Put the boots down. Because I'm not a huge fan of the boots. So, if I do, well, I prefer to try and get the Friday night slot for Working District Musical because it's kind of a late night. And I'm going to have kind of a late night the prior Thursday as well um, because of my own show. So, I usually try and get the Thursday night slot if at all possible. Last year it was not possible. Bye hair. Um, last year it was not possible um, because somebody had something going on. I don't remember what the deal was. There was something weird last year. Um, so even though I requested it, I could not get the Thursday night slot for house management, which is what I have to do for District Musical this year since I'm not directing or producing. I am house managing. Um, but we'll see. I think the person who had the conflict last year is the director this year, so it makes life a little bit easier when you're trying to get the time slot you want <laughs> if you're not up against the person who typically has the conflict. Because um, since she's director, obviously she is not house managing at all. So that means I really just have to kind of talk it out with the other people who are not directing the show. Alright. I think I'm actually going to put those boxes side by side. No. Yeah, I can do that. Because then I'll put one checklist there and one checklist there. Boom. Perfect. is very different, but I kind of like it. I typically do pretty like straight across stuff or like have a set pattern. So this whole like having it randomized is kind of fun. Because it's not something I would normally do. I was just like after three straight weeks of the same layout, I wanted to do something different. Oh, 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 no, no, no. There we go. Alright, and then one last checklist down here across the bottom. Alright, cool. So, on to filling in the actual, like, bulk of my week. Let me get rid of some stuff. Oh, I like that. That's cute. Alright. Um, so I am just going to go ahead and on each of the days that District Musical is happening, I'm going to put a flag. 
for District Musical. Except I want to make sure I'm not copying the color of the box. Because I don't want to be too matchy matchy. So we'll just kind of give it a pattern. a little more subtle. And there we go. Okay, so got something to mark District Musical going on each of those days. Oh, they added a Sunday show this year, apparently. One of my kids told me that, and I was like, what? I normally don't do Sunday shows. Oh, I had bigger flags. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. This is going to be a much more white space week than I normally do. Just because of like everything. Wow, that weekend banner is a little too wide. And that's totally crooked. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Whatever. Um, okay, so other things going on that I need to put in. So I've got lots of boxes over here. Yay. Um, so I've got District Musical marked. I have a data team meeting on Tuesday, and I actually pulled a box that says meetings, or meeting on it. I'm going to use this one right here. The orange. Actually, I set it just above the glitter header. It looks like a space, but there's actually not a space. <laughs> All right, well, no, there kind of is. What is that? I'm getting a phone call from a number I don't recognize. Okay. Get rid of that. Um, but yeah, so I've got my meeting sticker in for Tuesday, and I don't really have much to use these on. Um, so let me look at my monthly spread real quick. So that is fourth Thursday. So I don't have to do a video on Thursday, but I have a video and a chapter on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so I'm going to use these labels right here for that. So I've got chapter on Saturday and video on Sunday. And I'm actually going to be filming and editing all of the stuff for this week on this week for a change. So I pulled these and I'm not using them. So I'm just going to throw those to the side. I pulled a lot of things that I'm not using actually. Alright, so I have my video live sticker here. I should really probably get tweezers to do this with. But yeah, no. I am not feeling up to walking to go get tweezers right now. Y'all, oh my gosh, today has been miserable. Like, right before my lunch duty, I came down with, like, the worst migraine ever. And I have really bad migraines sometimes, so, like, this is, like, bad. Um, but I just came down with a really horrible migraine. And I've just been fighting it ever since. So if I'm a little off in this video, that's why. Because um, I am fighting real hard with myself. Okay. Um, so I do need to put in my film, edit, and upload. And I'm going to use these big flags for that. Because I have them. And I might as well. And it'll be cute. So I'm going to try and film on Monday. Okay, Tuesday I'm taking basically off of YouTube stuff um, simply because trying to like do all of that is just too much. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'll use that. Okay, sorry, I had to think for a second of how I was going to do this. So then 
Tuesday is off. Wednesday is editing. And these are from Adorably Amy Designs, by the way. And then Thursday, I'm gonna actually flip the sticker around because I've already got a flag on Thursday up at the top. Move it down just a teeny bit for my upload. Um, Cause the good news is I can run home if I am house managing on Thursday, I can run home and set it up to upload while I'm gone. Um, and then I think the only other thing I need to do are my, uh, Instagram posts. I need to mark that I need to do that. So I'm just going to put that as the last heart on Wednesday and on Sunday. And put a little camera for those. I feel like that's everything, or that's at least everything I know right now. Um, so yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, not a whole lot. I'm going to go ahead and throw some deco in here. Actually, I'm going to do that in just a second because I'm about out of time. So let me shut this down and then I'll come back and show you with deco and um, writing. Yeah, that's what I want to say. All right, and here I have my full week filled out. Um, obviously, as much as I can do right now, not everything can get filled out this week simply because, like, I don't know what I'm going to need to do all of these days. Um, so I've got my habit trackers as usual filled in that I have data team that Tuesday. Um, and then just added in writing where I needed to, which wasn't really a whole lot. Um, it's going to be a pretty chill week, excuse me, after the insanity of the previous one, which I still haven't actually written in. <laughs> I need to write in that week, actually. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see this week as it kind of came together. And for me, it's going to be a while, but for you guys, it's going to be next week. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!